I think the best thing about performing is the fact that we get to do it together. Every situation is, is unique and different. Sometimes you're feeling really good and sometimes you're feeling not so good, but the constant is that we're together. And also, it means you can have just way more fun because you have somebody else there to bounce energy off of. It can be a very lonely place to be when you're on your own. And I think I appreciate having someone to, to make music with. I think it's really special to do it with somebody, especially when it's your, your own sibling. You can argue we've always been the Ibe sisters. We started playing together when we were super, super young, um, but it was only around about 2015, yeah. I think 2015, where we actively started saying, let's, let's actually do this properly. Let's become a proper duo and kind of put ourselves out there as the Ibe sisters. One of the first things that we did as a duo was enter a competition and that competition kind of enabled us to perform at the Royal Albert Hall. That was the prize for the competition. And that totally launched what we were what we were doing. It put us in front of some very helpful and influential people in the industry which kind of provided us with the opportunity to record and write an album and it developed from then on. <laughs> We had a kind of frank conversation about a year ago that we really wanted to put a larger body of work together and we felt ready more than anything to do that and we were brainstorming what could it sound like and what could it be about and we both decided that we really wanted to pay tribute to our Arabic heritage. We both are originally from Egypt and it just felt like the right time to put a disc together that really represented that part of who we are and where we come from. So we took some of our favourite folk songs from Egypt, from Lebanon, from Tunisia and Algeria and we also composed music kind of inspired by our trips to Egypt when we were younger and we put it all together and we recorded it with a string orchestra, with lots of eastern percussion, with guitar, with a lot of other kind of special guests and of course the solo violin and cello. Growing up with Egyptian parents and going back to Egypt at least once a year throughout our childhood and adulthood to see family and friends, it's such a huge part of our, of our being and it's definitely something that we wanted to explore further and it was an opportunity for us to learn even more about our heritage and our neighbours and their folk songs and their traditions and we wanted to kind of reinterpret those in our classical sound again and call the album Arabesque. So Arabic music is traditionally very heavily rooted in rhythm and percussion and a melody which is normally sung. Um, but there's always an absence of harmony, which is where we felt an opportunity to kind of explore and then flesh out these arrangements with a full symphony orchestra. And that's kind of what gave us that kind of drive and excitement to create this body of work. I think we wanted to bring something different and brand new. We didn't want to do just a copy and paste arrangement which is always the danger when you're arranging That's repertoire. That's pet peeve with covers, like even just the concept of a cover, if you're mm -hmm. just going to sing a song or you're going to play it exactly how it was recorded in mm. the first place. There's nothing really creative about that. So I think we try every time we take somebody else's melody to do something Put a spin on it that interesting makes and unique. It and, yeah. The piece we're going to perform today is a very old Egyptian folk song called El Helwadi by Said Darwish and the lyrics basically depict a scene of sunrise and the cockerel sounding um, while women kind of wake up to knead the bread and make bread while men go off to find work, which of course is quite a dated concept, but it kind of paints this landscape of a very simple time in Egypt. It's sung normally with, again, rhythm and percussion and we've arranged it today for quartet, cello, violin, guitar and percussion.